Hello, good evening. How are you guys? Good evening, Noemi, Kevin, Marlon, Maribel. How are you? Fine, teacher. Sorry, but I driving. You're driving. Okay, don't worry. Okay, it's okay. All right, so let's see. Hello, Kevin. Hello, Noemi. Hello, Maribel. Well, I think that that probably, can you hear me? Me escuchan. Good evening, Sid. Okay, okay. All right, so let's see. Eh, Noemi, Kevin, are you there? Okay. Okay, okay, Kevin. Okay, so guys, we are going to start with today's class. Vaya, vamos a comenzar con la clase de este día. And we are going to start with the following, all right? So we are going to start with alphabet vocabulary. So we have right here, what is this? What is it? Apple. Yes, yeah, so this is an apple. So A is for apple, okay? A como en manzana, apple, okay? In English, apple. B is for, what is this? Oh. Boat, very good. What about this one? C is for, what is this? Huh? What is it? Is for cat. Cat. Very good. What about this one? D is for dog. Dog. Okay. H is for house. House. F is for Fish. Fish. Very good. What about G? G is for? Giraffe. Giraffe. E. E is for? Elephant. Elephant. Very good. What about letter L? L is for? No? no? No. It's truck. Oh, that is a truck. Yes, but this one is a lorry. Okay? It is a lorry. K is for? K is for? K? No. No. I don't no. Know. Okay. So K is for kites. Uh, eh, pizza o cometa, okay, in this case, so you say kite, okay, kite. And a lorry, guys, is un camión. Let's move. Eh, P is for... Very good. N is for... Night. 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 I is for? Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Uh, letter J is for? Giraffe. Oh, no. J Juris. Juice. Okay, very good. Yes. M. M is for? Mouse. Mouse. Mouse for mice. Okay, very good. What about the letter O? O is for? Orange. 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 Very good. Letter T is for? Three. 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 R is for? Robot. Robot. Uh, Q is for? Question. Question mark. And what about X? Sun. Sun. Very good. Letter U? 
Umbrella. 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 Letter X is for? Box. 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 Right? Or X in this case. Or X-ray. Right? What about letter Y? Yellow. 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 W is for? Watermelon. 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 Do you like watermelon? Yes. Watermelon. Delicious, right? It is delicious. It's delicious. Letter B. Letter B. Veggies. Veggies. Yes. Or vegetable. Very good. Vegetable. Letter Z. Zoo. Zoo. Very good, guys. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Okay, Janet. All right. So let's continue. Okay. Let's continue. Let me share my screen. Yes. Puedes repetir. Uh... Vegetable. Oh, yes. Vegetable. Vegetable. Okay. okay. Very good. Vegetable. Okay, guys. So let's continue with today's class. We have different things today. We are going to cover a new topic. Okay. But first, we are going to read the quote of the day. Um, Carlos Amaya, help us reading, please, the quote of the day. Okay, don't wait for the right time, create it. Yes, okay, so it says don't wait for the right time, create it. Dice de que no hay que esperar por el momento correcto, hay que crearlo, all right? That is correct, all right? Don't wait for the right time, create it, okay? So now, guys, today's agenda. Well, we already had the warm map. We are going to move to grammar and today we are going to make a review on how often and we are going to talk about imperatives, all right? We have the practice time and we also have a quiz, okay? So we are going to start by talking about the following, okay? Prepositions. So the books are in the book bag. What about number two? Where is the cell phone? Is next to what? Hairbrush. Um. The hairbrush. Very good. Excellent. Okay. And number three, where is the map? Under the newspaper. Under the newspaper. Excellent. And where is the chair? Below the table. Excellent. Below the table. And where is the wallet? On the notebook. On the notebook. And where are the sunglasses? In front of the bag. In front of the bag. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Now, guys, let's talk about how often. All right. So as you can see right here, we have how often. All right. How often. And it will be do or does. This is the structure as you can see right here. So how often do or does plus the subject plus the verb. And we have the complement. So we have how often do you write memos? Let me ask you something. How often do you write memos at work? How often do you write memos? I, I usually, usually write, write memos. Excellent. I usually write memos, all right? So how often do you watch cartoons? How often do you watch cartoons, guys? I rarely watch cartoons. Excellent. So I, you said rarely, okay? I rarely. Good evening, teacher. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, Oscar. Thank you. Good evening, okay? So rarely. What about, yeah. Number two, how often do you watch a movie? How often? How often do you watch a movie? I sometimes watch a movie. I sometimes watch a movie. What about you, Rosibel? I usually in the night. I usually at night. At night. At okay, night. very good. And because what about? Uh -huh. 
Because no. today, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. Got it. So usually, right? And how often do you go to the beach, Ronald? Uh, I often, uh, uh, I sometimes go to the beach. Oh, okay. Uh, you sometimes go to the beach. Okay, very good. And how often do you see your friends? How often do you see your friends, uh, Carlos Amaya? I always. I always see my friends. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Remember, guys, we have adverbs of frequency. Always, usually, normally, how often, okay, is the question. And those are adverbs of frequency, okay? How often, how often? Okay, guys, let's continue. Now, let me ask you about those fitness activities, okay? How often do you go walking, guys? How often do you go walking? Uh -huh. How often? Never. You never go, walk, go walking? Never? And you, Andrea? I never walk. Okay, I never go walking. Go walking. Yes. And how often do you do weight training? I occasionally do weight, weight training. Perfect. Okay. And what about this one? How often do you do treadmill? En la caminadora. How often? Uh -huh. Never? Sometimes? Seldom. Seldom. Okay, so I seldom do treadmill. Okay, mira cómo se dice ir en la caminadora. Se dice do treadmill. Okay, and how often do you do a stretching? Mm -hmm. How often? How often do you? I normally do a stretching. Excellent. I normally do a stretching. Yes, that helps you to relax your body, right? Yes, of course. All right. And how often do you go jogging? How often do you go jogging? Mm -hmm. How often? How often do you go jogging? What is the mean of jogging? Jogging is trotar. Okay. So how often do you go jogging? I occasionally go jogging. You occasionally go jogging. Okay. What about you, Maribel? How often do you go jogging? I am never. I never go jogging. Uh, what about you? Uh, let me see, Enrique. I usually go jogging. I usually go jogging. Okay, very good. All right, guys. So then, go walking, do weight training, do treadmill, do a stretching, and go jogging. Fitness activities, fitness activities, okay? Then we also have a couple of more activities right here. Let me ask you, how often do you do yoga? How often, Rosibel? Um, I never, I, I never yoga. Do yoga. I never do yoga. Yes. Okay. And uh, Rosibel, how often do you do aerobics? Uh, I usually and um, Saturday and Sunday. Okay. On Saturday and on Sunday. 
on Saturday and on Sunday. Very good. And Rosibel, how often do you do karate? Uh, I never karate. I never do. I, I never do, do karate. karate. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. Uh, do you practice karate, guys? Somebody here? No? No, I don't practice karate. You you do not? No. <laughs> okay. All right. Do you uh do you do yoga, Amanda? Never practice do yoga. No, never in aerobics. Aerobics, I do. Okay. Sometimes. Right. Sometimes. All right. Okay, guys. Very good. All right. So remember, okay, do yoga do aerobics and do karate okay karate yeah very good okay let's move and i need two volunteers one is going to be mary and the other one is going to be paul maribel you are mary and carlos amaya you are paul okay maribel our rally fit Paul, do you exercise, exercise alone? I love. Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Mm -hmm. Serious. Seriously? Sure. Seriously. And then Seriously. I often go swimming. Maribel? Creo que tiene el micrófono apagado. Perdón. Yeah. No worry. Wow. Oh, after do you exercise? Live that. Mm -hmm. About five times a week. What about you? The microphone. Perdón. Oh, Hardly ever exercise. It's usually just watch TV in the free time. In ways I am real coach hotel. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Maribel, repeat after me. How okay. often? How often? Often. How? 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 No, how, 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 often, often, do you, do you, exercise, 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 perdón, exercise, ex exercise, like, life, that, that, that. yes, okay, so, Mary, Sorry. all right, Thank you, Maribel. So, Mary, you're really fit. Paul, do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I leave weights for an hour. Mire, hacer pesas, right? Leave weights for an hour. Yes. Seriously. En serio, seriously. Right? <laughs> sure. And then I often go swimming. Swimming. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. So that means that probably he goes from Monday to Friday, right? What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. What is the meaning of this phrase? I guess, I guess I'm a real couch potato. Give me synonyms. Como adicto al televisor. Um, yes, okay. Uh, a couch potato, guys, is a person that is lazy. 
Es una persona que es bien flojo. Yes. Es una persona que es como eh, flojo, aragán. ¿Verdad? Un coach uh -huh. potato es una persona que es aragán. ¿Ok? So, in this case, let's move. And I need two volunteers. One is going to be Ruth and the other one is going to be Kate. Me. Amanda, Me. you are Ruth. And Rosibel, you are okay. Kate. Okay, go. I Kate. Uh, you are Kate, Rosibel. Amanda, you are Ruth. Okay. Um, you're in great shape, Kate. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Mm -hmm. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I will give you a few tips. Okay, very good. Okay, so now, uh, Rosibel, repeat after me and say twice a week. Twice a week. Okay. Yes. Twice, twice. Twice. Yes. So you are in great shape, right? So that is actually something good, right? Okay. You are in great shape. What is the meaning of this? Mm -hmm. Estar en forma. Yes, estar en forma. Okay. Tú estás en forma, Kate, right? Mm -hmm. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. A real fitness freak is that person that loves, that loves to go to the gym, to eat fruits, vegetables, to drink protein, etc. That is a real fitness freak. Okay. That person that loves. Okay. La persona que le encanta, that loves, but loves. Okay. Uh, go to the gym. Que le encanta ir al gimnasio. Y que es fitness. Okay? Yes. So, how often do you work out? Work out is the same as saying, how often do you exercise? Es lo mismo que decir eh, exercise. En ese caso, how often do you work out? Es como preguntar, eh, ¿qué tan a menudo usted hace ejercicio? Yeah. The same thing. Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis, that sounds like a lot of fun. Suena divertido. That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how well do you play? ¿Qué tan bien juegas? How well do you play? Yeah. Pretty well, muy bien, pretty well, pretty well, I guess, supongo. Cuando usted quiera decir supongo, va a decir, I guess. I guess. I guess. Yeah? I supongo. guess. Yeah. So, well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Te voy a dar unos cuantos tips. Okay? Very good. All right. So, now, uh, for the last conversation, Kevin, uh, uh, let me see if, if I saw Brian. Brian Alexander, you are Kevin, and I need another volunteer to be Ali. So do you usually come to gym? Okay, Brian, uh, give me one second. Okay, so I need um, another volunteer. Otro más para que sea Ali. Amanda, thank you. Okay, so Brian, you are Kevin. Amanda, you are Ali. So, Creo que Andrea quería participar, no sé. Oh, Andrea? Okay, so Andrea. 
your alley, Andrea. Brian? So, do you wish, usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. I usually come here at 10. Right? What time do you go to work? Oh, I work in the afternoon. I start work at 5 at 5. Well, that's like, like, we do you get home at, at night? I usually get home at midnight. 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 Midnight? That's like, what do you do exactly? I, I am a chef. I work at the big elephant. That's my favorite restaurant. That's why I am telling Okay. By the way, I'm Kevin. Okay. What is the meaning of that expression, by the way? By, by the way, I am Kevin. Yes. What is the meaning of that expression, guys? By the way. By the way. Por cierto. Yes, very good. Por cierto, okay. Por cierto, by the way, por, cier por cierto, me llamo Kevin. By the way, I'm Kevin. Okay, by the way. Yeah. Very good. Do you have any question about vocabulary? Question? Being elephant. Eh, Which one? Este, a donde dice Ali en la última, en el último parrafito de Ali. Ah, I'm a big elephant. Ah, okay, so Elefante I'm a Rosa. I work at the Pink Elephant. Pink, Pink Elephant is the name of the restaurant. Ah. Ajá, el Pink Elephant es el nombre del restaurante, así se llama. Ajá. Pink Elephant, Elefante Rosado. Uh -huh. Yes, okay. I'm a chef. Es un, es un chef y trabaja en el Elefante Rosado. Uh -huh. Yes, okay, very good, guys. Let's move, all right? Let's move, and now you are going to interview your classmate, okay? Va a entrevistar a su compañero, okay? Ambos. Ambos se van a entrevistar y van a hacer una presentación aquí, en la main room, okay? I'll give you, le voy a dar de unos 7 a 10 minutos para que se preparen y ambos tienen que responder las preguntas, los dos. Es una entrevista, primero usted se la hace y después su compañero se la hace a usted, okay? So we have eight questions. Do you have a job? Where do you work? What do you do exactly? Is your job interesting? What time do you start work? When do you finish work? Do you like your job? And what do you do after work? Eight questions, okay? And you are going to present. Es como una exposición que va a ser, pero esa es una entrevista solamente usted y su compañero. Todo lo vamos a escuchar. Right? So, let's see. Eh, open the class. Abra la clase. Open the class. Ok, open the class. Do you have any question? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? No question. Ok, no questions. Ok. Let's see. Eh, yes, Rosibel. Va, se podría mandar el link, teacher, por okay. favor. Yes, give me one second. Okay, thank you. Okay. So this is the link for the class, guys. Um, there you go. In the chat. Okay. Open it. Ábralo. Open it. Um, okay. Eh, el que no se pueda unir a la sala, it's okay, all right? Do not, do not worry. Quien no se puede unir a las salas porque va manejando o está trabajando, no se preocupe. Se queda aquí en, la, en el salón principal. 
Okay, teacher. Yes. Okay, um, so is Jacqueline here? Sí. Ah, okay. Yes, All right. teacher, sorry. Okay, uh, Janet, I think that she's not here. Yeah, Janet is not here. She's not. Yeah, she's not here. Okay, very good. So you, you uh, do you have any question? Um, I don't think so. Okay, very good. Okay. Uh, my, my work is located in San Jacinto. Mark. I have a job. Yes, yes, is that? En este caso, teacher, sería yes, que Maribel eh, has a job. Yes, Maribel has yes. a job. Has. Yes. Yes. Okay. Eh, en ese caso sería igual, Maribel. Este. Yes, yes, este, pero usted. I have a es, word. I have a job. Pero usted. Sí. Usted es. Has. Has. Usted es. Has. Has. Or have. Oh. No, yes, Ronald. Ronald has. Has. Ronald has a job. Uh -huh. Ok. The next question is, where do you where work? Do you work? I where am do you work, um, clinic. I am clinic. I work in a clinic. In a clinic, okay. In uh, this case, it would be Maribel works in a clinic. Correct, works. En you, Ronald? Eh, eh, I work in, in the, ¿cómo se puede decir? ¿A dónde trabajas? Es una oficina, teacher, no sé. Ok, office. In the office. In the office. In the office. I in work the office. In the Uh -huh. I work in the office. Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you excel to 
Solo voy a contestar la segunda que te la había escrito, María. Pero... Okay. Hey, what do you exactly? What um, do you do? Is the meaning exactly? What do you do exactly? ¿Qué haces exactamente? De, 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 sería la de okay. profesión. The eh, profesión. ¿Qué hace? Uh -huh. ¿Qué hace en su trabajo? Uh, I am I am accountant. Okay, I am an accountant. An accountant. Okay, ¿y qué hace? Um, I prepare a mm -hmm. financial report. Okay, very good. Um, so, okay. I uh, review the uh, reports, como se dice, reportes de cuentas por pagar. <laughs> uh, Pageable accounts, ¿qué sería? Review Pageable accounts. Mm -hmm. um, que prepare um, eh, declaraciones, ¿cómo sería? Eh, fiscal, <ríe> declaraciones fiscales. O sea, usted es un, un auxiliar contable. No, yo soy contador. Okay. Yeah, so tax declarations. Tax declaration. Eh, eh, you, eh, eh, Maribel, what do you do exactly? Eh, secretary, um, vendedora, secretaria, vendedora, um, no sé cómo. Okay. Um, a saleswoman. Usted es una vendedora. Usted es un saleswoman. She is okay. a saleswoman. Sí. Maribel is a secretary. And? And a saleswoman. Correct. Okay. Is, is your job interesting? Is your job interesting? Uh, uh, yes, uh, for me it's, it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, I, um, I enjoy my job. I, I, I enjoy my job uh, uh -huh. because uh, it's very practical. <laughs> yeah. um, mm, you can say that it is really practical. Practical. It is. It is practical. Practical. Enjoy my 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 job uh, because is uh, practical. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and you, Maria? Mm -hmm. Um. Is. You were is interesting and muy ocupado, no sé. Okay, so it is very interesting and busy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, entonces es como... Maribel uh, works is very busy and interesting. Yes, Maribel. Uh -huh. Maribel's job. Okay, Maribel's jobs. job. Uh, job. Or, or, or jobs. No, Maribel's job. Yep. Mar Maribel's. Yeah, Maribel's job. Uh -huh. Maribel's. 
Yes. Well, DC. Rest. Teacher, uh, what time do you start work? Is es el tiempo que lleva en la profesión? No. ¿A qué horas empieza a trabajar? ¿Qué hora? Sí. A trabajar, ok. Eh. I have. She starts. Starts work. Uh -huh. And you? Eh. Major is interest, interesting because we do um, different things every day. Okay. It's not boring, not boring my job. Teacher, yes. How, how I, como digo, um, monótono. Monotonia. Okay. So, eh, something that is monótono, como repetitivo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. You can say... Um, maybe repetitive. Repetitive. Uh -huh. Repetitive. Yeah. Okay. Your job is repetitive? No? Mm. My job, yes, yes. Every day is the same because, oh. because, well, nah, <laughs> not that easy. Because okay. every day I have different clients mm -hmm. and different person, and every person is different. Yes, that is true. Okay, so do you like your job? Yes, Great. but. Sometimes it's boring. <laughs> it is boring. Como yeah. todo trabajo, creo. Yes, I of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Continue then, guys. And you, Kevin? Uh, what about you? About you. Hmm? And you? What time? Hmm? Uh, yeah, yes. Ask him. What what time do you start work? Mm -hmm. uh, 10 p.m. I, I, <laughs> <start work. laughs> I start work um, okay. nine o'clock. At at nine o'clock. At nine o'clock. Okay. So late. Wow. Yeah. And you? The schedule envidiable. <laughs> okay. Horario yes. de pandemia tenemos todavía. Okay. okay. And you, Noemi? Uh, I start work at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. And you, Amanda? Um, I start work at, at night a.m. It's the same hour that Kevin. You do after work. Es como que haces. Que haces después, después de del trabajo. Sí. Venir a clases con mi teacher. Y San Man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so how do they tomar clases de inglés? Okay, so... I take English classes. I take English classes. Third person, a teacher Maribel uh, has. Uh, it, no, it should be no. Maribel takes. 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 English classes. English class. English class. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Siempre uh, vengo corriendo. Yes. And you? ¿Qué hace? Eh, 
I am the the the, the diner. And, yeah. and take my English class. Okay. So okay. I have dinner. I have dinner. Yes. And then I take my English class. Correct. Y después, ¿verdad? And then. Okay. Para poner, I din, o sea, I dinner, eh, Ronald's. No. Ronald has dinner. Ronald has dinner. And, and takes English class. And takes English class. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Póngale la S a take, okay? Póngale la yes. S. Yes, takes. Takes. Uh -huh. English class. Yes, English class. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Okay, you finish? Uh, yes. Yes, finish. Okay. Awesome. Let's go back to the main room. Okay, let's go back. I think that you all finish. Yeah. Let's go back. Okay, so let's see who goes first. Let's see who goes first. Okay, vamos a ver quién pasa primero. Okay, let's see. Okay, so the first is, let me see if we have Jacqueline here. No, no jet. Okay, no jet. Okay, so again, Maribel. Okay, Maribel and Rona. Yes, Maribel and Rona. Okay, go. Go. I'm going to I'm going to share my screen, okay? So you can remember, one is going to ask and the other one is going to answer. Okay. Qué suerte. <laughs> okay, Maribel. <laughs> Le voy a preguntar primero. Yes. Do, look. Do you have a job? Uh, yes. yes, I have a job. Two. Yeah. Two. Where do you work? Uh, I work in office. In an office. In an office. Three. What do you exalt? Um, I am an accountant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is your job interesting? Uh, yes, uh, uh, it's very interesting and it's, it's very busy. Okay. What time do you start work? I start uh, work uh, eight, eight, eight a.m. at at eight a.m. at eight a.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you live your go? Do you like? Do you like your job? Joy, joy. Uh, is the seven? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Seven. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, Margaret. I, I like uh, my job. Okay. Do you? Do you? What do you after work? Uh, 
I I have a dinner mm -hmm. and and take a English class. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. All yes. Right. Great. Thank you. Ronald, now you to Maribel. <laughs> okay, Maribel. Do you have a job? Yes. I okay. I have um yes, yes. Okay. Where do you work? Um I I go in the secretary. Uh, what did you do exactly? He is is secretary is se me olvidó vendedor saleswoman saleswoman is your job interesting yes um mm, very interesting interesting okay uh, what do you do what what time do you start work? Um, es que yo llego a las 8 de la mañana, pero mi trabajo empieza a las 10. Entonces, okay, so eh, I start work at 10. At 10. Yes. Okay. When do you finish work? At 7 p.m. Okay. Uh, do you like your job? Yes. Mm -hmm. Much, very much. Okay. What do you do after work? I am taking English class. Okay. I take English classes. Yes. Okay, guys. Thank you. Very good. Okay, well done. Okay, that was good. Okay, so right now I'm just going to mention something. Yes, Janet. Quiero participar con mi equipo. Okay, all right. <laughs> yes, Janet, give me one second, okay? Just for you to remember, guys, this one is going to be interesting. Interesting. Yes, interesting. Okay, interesting. And that's the only observation that I have, okay? Very good. Yes, Janet and your team. Okay, Jamilet and Carlos, ready? Very good. Carlos, ask me. Yes, yes. Okay. Do you have a job? Yes, I have a job. Where do you work? I work at Promerica Bank. What do you do exactly? Mm -hmm. I counseling and grading of mortgage loans. Okay, is your job interesting? Yes, my job is, is, is interesting. What time do you start work? I start my work at 8 or 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, when do you finish work? I don't have a fixed departure time. Sometimes finish 6 p.m. or 9 p.m. Okay. okay. Do you like your job? Yes, I like my job because I like to advise clients and I love numbers. Okay. What do you do after work? I connect to the English class. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Okay, so now, Janet, you ask Carlos. 
Okay. Do you have a job? Yes, I have. Where do you work? I work at Photo Studio Robles. What do you do exactly? I edit photos. Is your job and interesting? And sometimes take pictures. Oh, very good. Is your job interesting? I know. Really? <laughs> why you? <laughs> I don't know why. Sometimes it's cool and sometimes it's very boring. Okay. Okay. And what time do you start at work? Um, my schedule is um, from 8 to 5 p.m., but I start to work. I arrive at my work at nine. <laughs> when do you finish work? Uh, at five. Do you like your job? Sometimes. Okay. What do you do after work? Um. I go home and, wa and watch TV. And later on, I have classes, English classes. Okay. All okay, right. thanks. Very good. Okay, who is missing from your team? Jacqueline, I think. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Janeth or I don't know, Carlos, you decide who asked Jacqueline. Okay. Jacqueline, do you have a job? Yes, I have a job. Where do you work? I work uh, in Arianka. I work at? In Arianka. It's the company. Yes. What, what do you do exactly? I... I have an accountant. I receive a play and uh, the countable the cash payment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is your job interesting? Mm, no, maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you start work? At 7 a.m. When do you finish work? In February, the 4 p.m. Because I don't have okay. time to finish my work. Me too. Do you like your job? Sometimes. What do you after work? When I have time, I play video game or watch the, uh, how do you say, series? Series. Siri. Siri. Okay. And next, I take the English class. Very good. Okay. Excellent. All right, guys, just an observation. Thank you, Jacqueline, Janet, and Carlos. So an observation, um, for example, where do you work? I work at, in this case, at Avianca, or it could be I work for Avianca. At or for, okay? Yeah. And, okay, so if someone asks you, do you have a job? Yes, I do. I have a job. Yes, I do. I have a job. Okay. Very good. Okay. Very good. Okay. Um, let me see who is missing from the teams. Andrea, Rosibel, Amanda. Hello. Okay. So let's see. Um, who work together? Let me see the breakout rooms. Andrea and Rosibel, go. Este, uh, Rosibel, Rosibel, do you have a job? Uh, 
Rosibel, you are on mute. Está en mute. Sorry, teacher. Don't worry. Yes, I have a job. Mm -hmm. Where do you work? I work in a factory. In my casa factory. Okay. What do you What do you do exactly? I I am a, a poker. Okay. Is your how interest interest? Is your job? Is is your job? Yes. My job is in Tersi. What time do you start work? I start work at 6 a.m. When do you finish work? Um, my I finish work, I finish my work at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, do you like your 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 videos? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I like my job. What do you do after work? Um, I go to my house and I take a shower and. Take and take my dinner. Okay, very good. So now you receive, ask Andrea. Okay. Andrea, do you have a job? Yes, I have a job. Mm -hmm. Where do you work? <laughs> I I work in Bank of America at Bank of America. Mm -hmm. What do you do as exactly? I a legal assistant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is your job interesting? Yes, uh, because. Because uh, because is a study. Okay. What time do you start work? Uh, I start work at eight and hour. Okay. When do you finish work? I finish work at uh, 5 a.m. 5 p.m. 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 Yeah. Do you like, do you like your job? Yes, uh, I love my job. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you do after work? Mm, I have English class. Very good. Okay. All right. Well done. Very good. Okay. The last team, Amanda. Okay. Okay. So Amanda and Kevin. Okay. Yeah. Do you do you have a job, Kevin? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Where do you work? Uh, I work uh, Atlantida Bank. What do you do exactly? Uh, I commercial advisor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is your job interesting? Yes, interesting. 
What time do you start work? Uh, I start work at nine o'clock. Okay. When do you finish work? I finish work 4 p.m. at 4 p.m. Do you like your job? Yes, like. Yes, I like my job. Yes, I like my job. What do you do after work? Uh, after work, uh, I go to the park. Mm -hmm. Kevin, now you ask Amanda. Amanda, do you have a job? Yes, I do. I have a job. Where do you go? Mm -hmm. I work in a company, tell us, uh, in Berdiza. Mm -hmm. what, what do you do exactly? Mm -hmm. I attend a client. Is your job in teaching? Yes, is 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 interesting because I I tell with a with many people. Okay, what time do you start work? I start work at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. When do you finish work? I finish my labor day at 5 p.m. Do you like your job? Yes, sometimes. What do you do after work? After work, I prepare the dinner or watch a movie. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Okay, guys. So, uh, Noemi, do you have a job? Uh, uh, yes, I do. I have a job. All right. Where do you work? I work at Banco Promerica. Excellent. And what do you do exactly? I attend clients. Perfect. Is your job interesting? Yes, my job is interesting because we do different things every day. Excellent. And what time do you start work? I start work at 8.30 a.m. Perfect. And when do you finish work? I finish work at 5.30 p.m. All right. And do you like your job? Yes, I like my job. All right. And what do you do after work? I play with my son. Perfect. Awesome. All right. So, guys, I'm going to take the attendance, okay? Before continuing, attendance. So, say present. Amanda Yesenia? Present. Thank you. Andrea Lisbeth? Present. Thank you. Brian Alexander? Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Vega? Carlos? Alberto? Dina Maribel? Dina Maribel? Present teacher. Thank you. Enrique Arturo Enriquez? Present teacher. Thank you. Janet Amaya de Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Marlene. Present. Joel Alberto. Juan Carlos Jovel Amaya. Here. Thank you. Kevin Adiel. Present. Luis Ernesto Galvez. Luis Giovanni Villa. Luis Giovanni. Luis Giovanni Villa. Escribió en el chat. Oh. 
Okay. Eh, thank you. Mirna Yesenia. Mirna. Noemi Claribel. Present, Miss. Thank you. Eunice Álvarez. Thank you. Oscar Giovanni. Present teacher. Thank you. Ronald Eduardo. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosibel Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Jancy Rendero. Kenny Alexandra. And Marlon Orlando Calles. Present teacher. Thank you, guys. Okay. So now let's continue, guys. Let's continue. Um, so I'm going to ask the other ones in a minute, okay? But let's continue with the topic for today, which is imperatives, okay? What are imperatives? What are imperatives? Who knows? No idea? No idea. Okay, so uh, uh -huh. <laughs> go. Go, Amanda. <laughs> Creo que son como órdenes. Excellent. Órdenes, correct. Okay. Los imperatives son comandos, órdenes. Okay. So that's what we are going to cover today. Es lo que vamos a cubrir el día de ahora. But first, okay, we have a conversation. I need two volunteers. One is Marcia and the other one is Luke. Me, teacher. Marlon, Here. you are Luke and me. Kevin, yes. And Kevin, you are Marcia. Uh, please send this packet. Yes, ma. What is it? Ma, ma, um, ma. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, just please read a memo memo about the the new day for the general meaning. Right away. Give me one of the memo sticker, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please. Supervise the new interest. Absolutely. Okay, guys, repeat after me and say right. 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 And this one, supervise. Supervise. Okay, Perfect. so let's see. We have this conversation. This conversation has imperatives. This conversation has imperatives. Listen to this. Please send this package. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am es una manera de decir eh, a una persona adulta, señora, de una manera súper respetuosa. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Sí, señora. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually... Okay, en realidad, actually no es actualmente. En realidad, actually, yes. Okay, please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. What is the meaning of right away? De inmediato. Right away. Right away. Get one of those memo stickers, please. Un comando, mire una, una orden. Give me, give me, deme. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, seguro. Here you go. Aquí tiene. Here you go. Aquí tiene. La expresión para cuando usted dice, sí, aquí tiene. All right. So, sure, here you go. Oh, and look. Please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Por supuesto. Absolutely. Okay. So now, guys, as you can see, this conversation has different commands and requests. Okay. Now, let me ask you. Okay. Look at this. We have commands. 
commands are direct instructions, okay? Instrucciones directas or orders to do something, yeah? So sometimes we need to use please, yeah? Why? ¿Por qué tenemos que utilizar please? Because it sounds polite, suena amable. Si solo utilizamos el verbo sin el please y solo decimos, por ejemplo, cerrar la ventana, close the window, ese es un comando, ese es un imperativo, imperative, ¿ok? Cerrar la ventana, close the window, pero eso no se considera muy amable, porque cuando usted pide algo, tenemos que decir por favor, ¿all right? So, for example, cerrar la ventana, por favor. So, close the window, please. Si le agregamos el please, entonces ya no es un imperative. Se transforma en un request. Se transforma en un pedido. ¿Ya? Yeah? Pero en lo general, ambos se consideran eh, comandos al final. A pesar que le ponga el please, siempre se considera como un comando, como una orden. Pero si le agrega please, es más amable. Okay, es menos pesado. Okay, so we have use please plus the command. For example, mire, to sound more polite, para sonar más amable. Yeah, please, okay, place an order for more boxes. Por favor, place an order for more boxes. Por favor, pon una orden para más cajas. Mire este, call the supervisor. Si yo solo le digo, call the supervisor, se escucha muy pesado. Pero si yo le digo, call the supervisor, please. Por favor. Ok, so which one sounds better? Suena mejor cuando le agregamos el please. All right. Entonces, it says, complete the following commands. Use the conversation above as reference. Ok, so. A memo about the new date. ¿Ok? ¿Cuál es el comando? Right. Right. Right a memo about the new date. Pero como vamos a sonar más polite, please write a memo about the new date. What about this one, number two? Mm -hmm. Give me. Give me. Give me one of those memo stickers. Or give me one of those stickers. And number three. Supervise. 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 The new interns, please. Okay. So what is exactly an imperative? An imperative is a polite word. Una frase cortés. En este caso es please. Okay. A verb and a complement. If you notice. If you notice, guys, we do not have a subject. No tenemos sujetos en los comandos ni en las órdenes. No se lleva un sujeto. La estructura es polite word plus verb plus complement. ¿Ok? Es como nosotros en español que decimos, cerra la ventana, abre la ventana, cerra la puerta, abre la puerta, tráeme agua, anda al súper. All right? Son comandos, son órdenes. All right? So then we have a couple of examples. Uh, Kevin, help us reading the examples, please. Please write a check. Please send a memo. Please check the report. Please Supervisor, the employees, please go to a meeting. Yes, okay. Thank you. If we remove please, is just write a check, send a memo, check the report, supervise the employees, go to a meeting. Those are commands, yeah? Those are orders. And we need to include the polite word, please, okay? Always, siempre, okay? 
So we use the imperatives, guys, to give instructions, to give orders, to give advice, to offer in something. Yeah. Utilizamos los imperativos, imperatives, para qué? Para dar instrucciones. That's why on an exam, you said, you see, indications. Choose the correct answer. Instrucción. Choose the correct answer. That is a command. That is an imperative. Turn left. Turn right. Instructions. Yeah. Giving orders. Do your homework. Don't walk on the grass. Sit down. Stand up. Orders. Give advice. Consejos. Dar consejos, guys. Study English. Stop smoking. Don't eat junk food. Look at this. Para hacerlo negativo, we use don't. Right? And whenever we offer something, cuando ofrecemos algo, we offer something. For example, come to the cinema with me. Ven al cine conmigo. Come to the cinema with me. Have some more tea. Right? Take my umbrella if it's raining. Take my umbrella. Toma mi sombrilla si llueve. You offer, ofrece algo. Yeah? So now, do you have any question till here? Any doubt? Questions, doubts? No? Okay, let's move. Now, more examples of imperatives. Help me. Collect the rubbish. What is the meaning of rubbish? Synonyms? No? Nobody? Toys? Toys? Um, not exactly. So collect the rubbish means collect the garbage. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is an order, yeah? Brush your teeth. Blow the candles. Blow the candles. Soplar las velas. Blow the candles. Taste it. Probalo. Taste it. All right. Switch it on, switch it off. Encendelo, apagalo. Switch it on, switch it off. Okay. Kevin, how do you say sopla las velas? What? How do you say sopla las velas? Blow the cone. Spare. Which one? From those. Uh, blow the handles. Blow the candles. The handles. Candles. Handles. Candles. Uh, yes. Let me see. Um, Marlon, how do you say probalo? Taste it. Taste it. Taste it. Yes. How do you say Ayúdame, Rosibel. Okay, mm -hmm. How do you say ayúdame? Help me. Help me. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Um, Ronald, how do you say encendelo? Switch it on. Apagalo. Switch it, switch it off. Excellent. Um, 
Jacqueline, how do you say cerra la ventana? Close the window. Eh, how do you say, thank you, how do you say eh, cerra la puerta, Andrea? Close the door. Close the door. Very good. So those are commands. Those are orders. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any question? Tiene preguntas. Not right now? No. Okay. Let's complete this. We have don't wait for me. Mire, don't wait for me. Okay. No me esperes. Don't wait for me. I'm busy tonight. Estoy ocupado esta noche. Don't wait for me. Okay. Si usted dice, wait me, y también cuando usted quiere decir, espérame. Wait for me. Wait for me. Okay. Number one. Which is the imperative that we need to use right here? Take. Okay. So, take. Can you please read the complete sentence, Carlos? Take an umbrella with you. It's raining. Excellent. Number two. Stop the car. Okay. Stop the car. Mm -hmm. At the end of the road. Okay. Now, what about number three? Don't forget. Don't forget. Excellent. Don't forget what? To take your passport. Excellent. Number four. Mm -hmm. Turn left. Turn left? Are you sure? Or should we move this one? Yes. Yeah, stop the car. There's a cut in the road. Excellent. Number five. Pass the salt, please. Excellent. Number six. Don't listen. Don't listen to that music. It's Don't. Terrible. Okay. Don't listen to that music. Okay. And the last one. Don't be late. Don't be late. Hmm? Number two, it's turn left turn at the left. end of the road. Excellent. Okay. All of those are commands and all of those are requests. Okay. You see, this is the way that we create imperatives. All right. Perfect. Let's continue, guys. And right now, before we go and complete the teamwork activities, we are going to take the quiz, okay? Vamos a tomar el examen, yeah? So this quiz is about commands and simple present. Commands and simple present, guys. There you go. You have the quiz in the chat. Lo tienen en el chat, okay? Y también... El código es English 2022. Once you have finished, let me know. Cuando ya haya terminado, me dice.
Dawn. Thank you, Carlos. Dawn. Thank you, Noemi. Okay, so I'm going to move you to a different breakout room and I need you to please start working on the activities, okay? On the teamwork activities that we have. Um, so I need you to start working on this one, guys, on this one. On the one that says this one, okay? So how to prepare a cup of coffee using imperatives, okay? That one. So let me create. Open the class, okay? It is in the class. No, I mean, what are we gonna do? Parts. You are going to create a short okay. recipe, okay? Uh, following the steps and using imperatives. For example, I have given you the last step. Okay. I normally stir the coffee. You know, this is imperative, right? This one is an imperative. So you okay. need to complete those four. Yeah? Okay. Perfect. Okay, let me see who else finished. Carlos and Noemi, Don, Amanda, and Andrea. Thank you. Carrie. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo es la, la okay. actividad, teacher? Yes. So, this activity is right here, okay? So, we were right here, but you need to go till the activity number three. So, what you need to do is that you are going to create a short recipe, okay, on how to make a cup of coffee. Oh. And you are going to describe the steps. Okay. Okay, and you are going to use some imperatives. Okay. Yes, I, I gave you the last step that says finally yes, stir the coffee. Stir the coffee. Stir that mean? That means revolver. Ah. Oh. Okay. You need to complete the other four steps. Okay. Okay? Yes. De acuerdo. Right. Thank you. Okay. First, hello, hello. Okay, uh, Janet, are you there? Yes, teacher. Yo me estoy durmiendo, pero sí aquí estoy. <laughs> okay, so wake up, Janet. Okay, so in this case, you are going to create 
all right? The a recipe, a short recipe on how to make a cup of coffee. Yeah? And you need to use imperatives. Okay? You need to use imperatives. All right? Do you have any question? Es como, por ejemplo, primero hervir el agua, Correct. después tener el café, después la leche. Exacto. Después hervirlo y ya. Okay. Yes, correct. Like that. Very good. Okay, guys. So, what you are going to do is that you are going to create a short recipe on how to make a cup of coffee. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you need to add imperatives. Va a utilizar los imperatives. First, blah, blah, blah. Then, mm -hmm. next, mm -hmm. after that, yes. And finally, yo le di el último step, le di el último paso. Finally, stir the coffee. Finalmente, revolver el café. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you need to complete the other four steps okay. and you have around three minutes. Yeah. So let me okay. know if you have any question. Okay. 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 For example, uh, first, the water is header. Correct. Okay. But in this case, first, heat the water. I mean, Heat. tiene que ser con los, yes, como orden, ¿verdad? Como ah, okay. pasos. Ajá, yes. First, he hit the water. Correct. Then, uh, mix the coffee. And you continue, así. Okay. Yes. A lo mejor. Okay, you finish? Yes. Bye. Very good. So look at what we are going to do. Vaya, vea lo que vamos a hacer. Okay. We are going to work here in the main room. Aquí no vamos a quedar nosotros. Okay. Trabajando. Okay. okay. So we are going to create a recipe. Okay. And we are going to use the imperatives. Yeah. We are going to use imperatives yes. and we are going to mention how to make a cup of coffee, yeah? So first, pero vamos a usar los imperatives, okay? Imperatives. So first, ¿qué hacemos primero para hacer una taza de café? Calentar el agua. <laughs> And how do you say calentar el agua? No? No, teacher, no, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. mucho. Okay. Heat the water. Okay. Heat the water. Yes. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Okay. Primero usted calienta el agua. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Después. Le pongo el, el café. café a la copa. Okay. ¿Cómo decimos agregar café? Al. Very good. Add, add coffee. Add coffee. Okay. Next. And sugar. Add coffee and sugar. Okay. Sugar. Yes. And shake. As it says. Eh, como batir. Uh -huh. mm. Shake. No. Mix. Next. White. Mix. Mix the ingredients. Como mezclar los ingredientes. Ajá. Y la diferencia entre shake y mix. Es que shake es como. Batir. Como batir. Me, menear y, más fuerte. Pero al café nosotros no lo, no lo batimos así. Nosotros le, le lo, movemos, ajá, movemos y remover también es stir. Stir, 
Uh -huh. Aquí sabe. Stir. Es como remover el café. Stir the coffee. Entonces, stir and mix vienen usándose para lo mismo. Correcto. Es como remover o revolver y el mix es como mezclar. Es casi sinónimo. Son sinónimos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's it. Solo esos son los pasos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, I take. And after that? I take the coffee. <laughs> okay. I, I drink. I drink a coffee. After that, drink the coffee. Recuerda que estamos utilizando los comandos. Entonces, por eso es que solo le ponemos el verbo y el complemento. Mira. Teacher, me cuesta. Sí. Eh, el tema. Ajá. Sí, esos son los comandos. Recuerde que en los comandos no vamos a poner sujeto. Uh -huh. Porque los comandos son para dar instrucciones, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Y para dar órdenes. órdenes Entonces, de... en este caso, cuando estamos eh, básicamente nosotros describiendo una receta, ¿estamos dando qué? Una orden. Una orden o estamos brindando instrucciones, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso es que utilizamos, si usted se fija, aquí, ¿verdad? Utilizamos básicamente verbo y complemento. Verbo, complemento. O sea, de que eso, eso, el verbo siempre puede, siempre es primero, por decirlo Correcto. así. Correcto. Porque estamos utilizando los comandos, por eso. En un comando el verbo siempre es primero. Yes, siempre. Ok. Uh -huh. Siempre, siempre. Yes. Y según la pregunta, así, así se ve, se denota si es comando. Yes, yes. It depends on the question. It depends. Pero más okay. que todo, eh, en, este, en este caso, eh, aquí dice, ¿eh? How to make a cup of coffee. Aquí le dice how to make a cup of coffee. No le dice how do you make a cup of coffee. Le dice cómo se hace una taza de, cómo se prepara. Uh -huh. yeah. So how to make a cup of coffee. Eh, let's see, let's read some of your answers. It, Janet said, put the water to boil, apply the coffee, serve the coffee in a cup, put milk in the coffee, and stir the coffee. Yes, it is correct. Okay. All of you are different. But we, we created this one with Rosibel and Maribel. So first, heat the water. Okay. Then add coffee and sugar. Next, mix the ingredients. After that, drink the coffee. Okay. Sí, es que yo me basé como el de finally, dice uh -huh. stir the coffee, entonces el drink iba después, para mí el finally hubiese sido drink the coffee. Drink the coffee, yes, correct. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very good. Ok, now, how do you say cremura? Coffee cream. Coffee cream. No. Creamer. Yes, cremura. Do you like coffee creamer? No, I yes. like it. No. Yeah. No, I, 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 I don't like it. You don't like it. Okay. Do you like milk? Yes. yes. I like it. Like. Yes. Uh, I love <laughs> You love milk. Uh -huh. <laughs> like I am drinking coffee Como black. Leche deslactosada en inglés. Leche deslactosada. Mm hmm Mm, I'm not sure. I think it's lactose free. Yes. Yes. Could be. Pero, lo, pero la gente en Estados Unidos se ríe si usted dice eso. No entiende. Eh, yes. Um, you can say. You can say. Let me see.
Mm -hmm. C, it should be lactose-free milk. Mm -hmm. Like that, yeah. Yeah, that's how you should say it. A mí me aparece otra palabra que es skim milk. S-K-I-M-M-E-D. Skimmed milk. Skim milk. No sé. Skimmed milk. Skimmed milk. Yeah, skimmed milk. Yes, it is a synonym. Let me see if it is the same. Pero esa es como la, la desnatada, ¿verdad? Pero la desnatada uh -huh. sí, sí contiene lactosa. Yeah. Ah, pues solo aquí tomo leche de lactosa. Sí, solo aquí tomo, porque allá, <risa> imagínate que en el Starbucks de acá, si te entienden, pero en el de allá no entienden. Lo que pasa es que, y si, te le, que... y si te le meten la lentada leche de soja, te arruinan el café. <risa> Lo que pasa es que ellos toman café negro, no toman café con azúcar. No, hombre, si allá el café con leche es lo que más les gusta. De negro, negro no les gusta, sino que con leche. But, but, they, but it's so weird because they should be able to understand the lactose-free milk. I mean. Yeah. Voy a probar esta vez. Yes. Yes. Ahí te cuento. Let us know, okay? Si no, son ignorantes, tía Lucy. No, no le voy a poner el traductor. No, yes, so weird because they should be able to understand, right? But I don't know, maybe they call it in a different way right there in Starbucks, probably, right? I don't know. Uh -huh. But yes, they should be able to understand that. Okay, very good, guys. So let's see. Um, all right. So now let me ask you. Let me ask you, okay? Give me some instructions. Give me some advice to be healthy. I gave you an example. Eat vegetables. What else? Don't Fruit. consume sugar. Don't consume sugar. Excellent. How to be healthy? Do exercise. Do exercise. Very good. What else? One more. To be healthy. Don't drink soda. Don't drink soda. Perfect. Now, give me advice on how to be happy. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Next. <laughs> One more. <laughs> Dance every day. <laughs> Dance every day, okay. Uh -huh. What else? Sing every day. Sing every day. What else? One more. Don't mm -hmm. talk with other people. <laughs> <laughs> no. Come on, Carlos. <laughs> okay, don't talk with other people. Okay. I sleep all night. <laughs> I sleep all night, yes. And I all know. day. And all day, right? Uh. <laughs> okay. So now, yes, give me advice on how to be a good student. Um, pay attention in the classes. Pay attention in classes. Uh -huh. What else? Read more. Read more. Very good. And write more. Write more. Perfect. Very good, Carlos. Okay. Made homeworks. Do homework. Okay. Do homework. Do homework. Uh -huh. To wake up. Wake up. All right. <laughs> wake up. Be okay. Oh Pay my attention. god. I, I know because it's late, right? But okay, we're almost done. Now, how to learn English fast? Give me advice. Listen to music. Listen to music. Practice every day. Practice every day. Sing your music. Sing <laughs> English music. Okay, what about? Right. Read. Read in English. Ah, yes. Very good. Now, guys, I want to avoid stress. Give me advice. The same with... Uh, to be happy. 
<laughs> don't okay. talk with people. Don't talk with people, okay. Go to the beach every week. <laughs> Go to the beach every week. Uh -huh. Very good. Is sleep of all day. <laughs> sleep all day, okay. What else? No sé cómo se dice masaje. Um, okay, go to a massage session. Mm -hmm. uh, go to massage session. session. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, that is useful. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, guys. Excellent, okay? You are able to use imperatives, okay? Now, let's move. Let's move and let's complete the exercises that we have, okay? Now, let's order, okay? So, letter B. Open the door, please. Perfect. Letter C. Don't forget Don't. your lunch. Perfect. Don't forget your lunch. Letter D. Please speak in English. Perfect. Letter E. Please Why? wait, wait for, for me. me. Please wait for me. Excellent. Letter F. Play nicely with your sister. Excellent. Play nicely with your sister. Letter G. Don't, Don't speak, speak with, with, with your, your, mouthful. With your mouthful. full mouth. Oh, no. mouthful. Yes. Mouthful, yeah. okay. Mouthful, yes. Very good. Don't speak with your mouth full. Okay, very good. Okay, let's continue. Okay, now let's write the commands in the imperative using the prompts, okay? So we are going to make imperatives. So we have the normal sentence, but we need to make the command. Number one. Eat, eat breakfast. breakfast. Eat breakfast. Number two. Drink water. Drink water. water. Perfect, three. Play, Play saucer. saucer. Excellent, four. Listen, Listen to, the to the teacher. Excellent. Number five. Watch the, Watch game. the game. Excellent. Number six. Watch, Watch the, dishes. the dishes. Yes. Number seven. Write a bike. Let, uh, number eight. Answer, the, Answer teacher. the teacher. Excellent. Okay. So you see the commands or the imperatives, we remove the subject. Okay. We remove it. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's, uh, well, we already did that. Okay, guys, uh, let's continue with this. Okay, let's see. We are going to make the following instructions negative. Okay, write a letter, don't write a letter. Sit down. Don't sit, don't sit down. down. Clean the room. Don't, don't clean, clean the, room. the room. Make dinner. Don't, Don't make, make dinner. dinner. Call your mother. Don't, Don't call your mother. Put on your shoes. Don't put on your shoes. Perfect. Okay, guys. So now, one by one, will give me, uno por uno, me va a dar un comando. Okay, we are going to start with Amanda. Okay. Don't stop. Perfect. Andrea Lisbeth. The, don't, don't read. Don't read. Okay. Rosie Bell. Eat your beans. Eat your beans. Perfect. Janet. No es ninguno de los que están acá, ¿verdad? No. A different one. A command. Up the soup. Okay. Like, like put, put the, the soup. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Or Cook the soup. Cook. Better. Maribel? 
Don't you worry. Don't you worry, okay? Uh, Oscar, are you there? Brian? Carlos, Amaya? Eat your veggies. Eat your veggies, yes. Noemi? Don't jump on the bed. Excellent. Jacqueline? Drink the coffee. Drink a coffee. Kevin? Kevin, are you there? Me sería... For example, teachers. A command. A command. An order. Sería... Give us a command. Denos un comando, una orden. Ah, um, yes. Sería... Create a count. Create an account. Create eight and account. Okay. Ronald? Uh, don't drink soda. Don't drink soda. Okay, guys. So for tomorrow, you will have homework. Okay. For tomorrow, you will have homework. ¿Qué va a ser su tarea para mañana? Va a ser, tell me about yourself. Okay. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. Okay, tell me about yourself. Yes, eh? tell me about yourself. Um, so the tell me about yourself is a short presentation about you, pero no lo vamos a hacer aquí. Usted lo va a mandar al chat. Yes, ¿cómo lo vamos a hacer en un audio? Usted va a mandar un audio. Tell me about yourself. Eh, le voy a mostrar en la clase. Número cinco es el tell me about yourself, ¿ok? Class five. Se la voy a mostrar. El tell me about yourself, usted va a hablar acerca de usted. Va a decir, hi, my name is eh, Janet, right? Y empieza a describir básicamente lo que usted hace, ¿ok? Su color favorito, lo que le gusta, lo que no le gusta. En un audio. De un minuto, ¿ok? No es necesario que lo haga de um, muy largo. Este es el Tell Me About Yourself. Mira. Aquí está. Este es. So, ¿qué va a hacer? Fíjese bien. Mira el mío, chiquito. ¿Ok? Un audio de menos de un minuto le va a salir. ¿Ok? So, hello. My name is Isamar. I work in the English department. I teach English and I create English classes. I live in San Salvador. I have two brothers and one sister. I have a cat and a dog. My favorite color is blue. My email address is, this is invent, okay? Invent uh, your email address. Isamar21 at gmail.com. Y lo manda al chat. Ya se lo voy a mandar para que lo tengan, okay? El ejemplo. But okay. for tomorrow, para mañana, antes de la clase. Ok. Quiero escuchar ese tell me about yourself. Ok, guys. Do you have any question? ¿Tiene preguntas? Questions? No doubt? question. No question. Ok. Um, veamos. Jacqueline Marlene, ¿se encuentra? Yes. Yeah. Jacqueline, can you please stay? Uh, and then the other ones, you may go, guys. Have a good night. Take care. Okay? Rest. Bye-bye, guys. Descanse. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Okay, good night. Okay. Good night. night. Thank you, everyone. Good night. See you. See you. Good night. Okay. Um, okay. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi. How are you? I'm bored because I work. Okay. 
All right. So, Jacqueline, ese espacio que vamos a tener es básicamente para eh, pedirle eh, que me hable acerca de eh, su background, ¿verdad? Si había estudiado inglés anteriormente, eh, cuánto tiempo ha estudiado el idioma inglés, ¿verdad? ¿Qué le parecen las clases? ¿Qué le parece la dinámica de las clases? Si tiene problemas con la plataforma, ¿verdad? O si ya hizo las tareas, si no las ha hecho porque ha encontrado inconvenientes con la plataforma. No, la plataforma es bastante amigable, hasta la fecha no, no he presentado un mayor inconveniente. Uh -huh. eh, la semana pasada trabajé lo de toda la semana anterior, esta semana no me ha quedado tiempo de revisarlo, pero espero... Ay, no sé, qué día de esto poderlo revisar antes del viernes. Uh -huh. Ah, aprovechando, el viernes no voy a estar en clases okay. porque me toca volar, entonces okay. eh, dejaría ah. todas las, las tareas hechas, pero no sé si habría algún inconveniente por los quiz que se están haciendo. Eh, no, en ese caso, por, por los juicios que hemos estado haciendo, pues no se preocupe, ¿verdad? Eh, lo que sí es que cuando eh, trate de conectarse Siempre, ¿verdad? Porque si no, la asistencia le va a ir como bajando. Uh -huh. sí, en este caso, si sí, no puedo, el viaje son 12 horas. Uh -huh. Entonces, no podría conectarme. Ok, vale. Entonces, en ese caso, no hay problema, ¿verdad? Um... Sí, la clase anterior le comentaba a una chica de, porque me escribieron. Eh, por temas de salud. Ah, ok. Porque me dio COVID nuevamente. Entonces ese día la pasé un poco mal y por eso no me conecté. Ok, ok, ok. De ahí sí he estudiado inglés, estudié dos años. Ok. En el 2000, dejé de estudiar en el 2018. Uh -huh. No logré terminar el curso. Inglés intensivo también, uh -huh. pero como no lo practico, hay muchas cosas que definitivamente se me han olvidado. Ok, ok. Um, en este caso, Jacqueline, um, ¿cuál es el motivo por el cual está aprendiendo el idioma inglés? ¿verdad? En este caso, ¿es por viaje, por eh, su trabajo? Por mi trabajo. Uh -huh. Ok. Para Bien, tener y... una mejor oportunidad. Uh -huh. Y en este caso, ¿tiene algún tema que se le dificulte? De lo que hemos visto hasta el momento, ¿hay algo que eh, usted diga, no, teacher, no le he comprendido? Por el momento no. Es bastante completo y es muy amigable la forma que explica. Sin embargo, creo que lo que me está fallando es el tema tiempo para yo repasar. Ok, ok, ok. Um, bueno, en relación con las clases, ¿qué le parece la dinámica de la clase con sus compañeros cuando se va a las salas? Um, ¿Cómo se siente en general, verdad, con los compañeros, con la clase? Um, bien. Um. Uh, bueno, yo por lo general no soy, y eso es lo que creo que me afectó también en el modo, en, cuando estuve estudiando anteriormente, uh -huh. no me gusta mucho hablar, okay. pero hoy lo estoy intentando. Ok, ya que okay. um, Sí, bueno, en ese caso, pues, eh, eh, sí, yo he notado que en realidad usted eh, es una de las estudiantes que más sobresale por el hecho de que eh, los temas que estamos viendo en ese momento, ¿verdad? Se le hacen un poco fáciles porque me comenta que también ya había estudiado antes. Entonces, hay ciertas cositas que usted se las puede, ¿verdad? Y ya usted tiene el conocimiento, nada más está como recordando, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, yo pues la felicito porque en realidad eh, tiene conocimiento del idioma. Ahora bien, eh, también pues la felicito que está intentando, ¿verdad? Hablar más, porque quizás eh, no sé el motivo por, por el cual no le gusta hablar, si es porque tal vez el ambiente 
o, o a usted no le gusta hablar con, con, con los compañeros, ¿verdad? Ya soy así. Ok, vaya. En ese caso, pues, el esfuerzo que está haciendo, porque he visto que siempre que yo entro a las salas si y yo le puso con sus compañeros, siempre está hablando. Entonces, la felicito porque en realidad sí veo que lo está haciendo, al menos en, en, en la clase, y eso es muy bueno. ¿verdad? Primeramente porque el idioma, pues, eh, se debe de practicar. ¿verdad? Porque si no se practica, entonces eh, es como que se nos va a ir. Tal vez vamos a ir adquiriendo el conocimiento, ¿verdad? De todos los temas, pero cuando lo hablemos, no nos vamos a sentir tal vez muy seguras, ¿verdad? O puede hacer que algo pase. Entonces, es importante que lo practiquemos y usted lo está haciendo. Así que eh, la felicito, ¿verdad? Que lo esté haciendo en la clase. Eh, luego, pues, eh, lo otro tal vez es eso, ¿verdad? Invitarla a que tal vez hable un poquito más con sus compañeros, porque si ya se dio cuenta, hay algunos de ellos que hablan bastante inglés, ¿verdad? O sea, que pueden mantener una conversación. Entonces, con ellos hay que tratar de hablar siempre full inglés. Eh, no español ni mezclar, ¿verdad? El español y el inglés, sino que tratar de hacerlo completamente en inglés. ¿Ok? De acuerdo. Eh, bien, entonces, en este caso, pues, eh, básicamente eso quería preguntarle, ¿verdad? Cómo se había sentido con las clases, ¿verdad? Con la dinámica de la clase. Y si en este caso, pues, eh, tal vez no tenemos el tiempo para poder de dedicarle al idioma, yo le aconsejo que lo haga unos cinco minutos, diez minutos, ¿verdad? Que no sea tanto tampoco el tiempo que usted le dedica al idioma, porque yo sé que la mayoría, pues creo que no tiene suficiente tiempo. Todos trabajan, ¿verdad? Y se entiende eh, ese, esa parte. Entonces, en este caso, yo le aconsejo que al menos unos cinco o diez minutos diarios, un día sí o un día no, le pueda dedicar al idioma para que vaya como eh, adquiriendo un poquito más, ¿verdad? Para que en el otro módulo ya vaya usted Súper bien del módulo 2. ¿Ok? De acuerdo. Ok. Eh, ¿Tiene algo más que mencionar? ¿Algo más que agregar? Bueno, con la plataforma me dijo que todo está súper bien. Así que eh, no hay ningún problema. De igual manera con lo que me mencionó. ¿Verdad? Del día viernes eh, yo comprendo. Así que no se preocupe. ¿Ok? De acuerdo. Vaya, No, por el momento solo. Vaya. Entonces, Jacqueline, eh, básicamente eso era todo pues para el feedback. Espero que, eh, espero ver el día de mañana, ¿verdad? Y espero que pase una feliz noche. Okay, have a good night. Take care. Gracias, igualmente. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.